Brian Parfmore here. I'm with Jeff O'Rick. And today we're going to talk about a suburb off of Cleveland, Ohio, Kirtland. So we'll be talking about the melon heads and everything. Well, the melon head story of Ohio probably, yeah, shit, is associated with, you know, these people with these big heads they're like big headed orphans and stuff and it's like Dr. Crow at a mental hospital did like experiments on you know the head the brain and stuff that made these mental patients these mental mental orphans you know yeah. about, like Do, doing experiments on them yeah yeah that I that I believe yeah but there's other, you know, areas where the lore, you know, or the melon heads, you know, is pretty interesting mm -hmm. and stuff. So, with experiments on the brain and stuff, you can understand the head being all swollen and stuff. Oh, yeah. And everything. What's cool about the melon heads, though, it's like they're seeing them, like, in this area where there used to be a mental hospital. And they see them, like, I guess they're probably... Like, violent mm -hmm. or whatever I'm not sure 100% they say they are but you gotta think now are these I didn't mean to interrupt but uh, are, have have they passed on or do you know that part or I do not know I figured you know like see that's why it's kind of hard to believe in a way the stories mm -hmm. of it and everything because that's why it's making too yeah like are they you know are they basically what we call ghosts you know they passed on and then they're coming back because they're pissed as we would be too you know some somebody I almost said a cuss word I'm glad I didn't somebody uh, experimenting on us you know, yeah, experiment on your down. brain and everything you figure well, that's kind of happening now but I won't go into it <laughs> <laughs> but with the experiments on their heads and stuff like that it's like yeah wow you know oh yeah yeah. Especially, you know, they said that it's supposed to be like orphan children and stuff like that. Yeah, but they did this stuff on and everything. Yeah, so and that's even worse. And there's, you know, I won't go into it, but there's stories about that where um, big, well, big G was picking up homeless people and, you know, people that didn't, if they were missing, you know, no big deal. You know, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. And uh, so it kind of sounds, you know, right up. Right at the beginning here, you know, you... Well, plus you hear, like, you know, like, Penhurst, all the stuff that, like, that mental place went through. They, like, did mm -hmm. so many nasty treatments to... Oh, yeah. Because I think it was an orphanage, too, plus a mental hospital. Yeah. You know, people drop their kids off and stuff like that and yeah. never return. That's sad, you know. Yeah. So, let's go ahead, everybody. Let's talk about mm -hmm. the melon heads. Let's do it. And everything. Do you think the melon head stories are true? Well, to me, I don't really think so, or whatever, because it's kind of like, well, the stuff's believable in a way, mm -hmm. but them still being around, just you know, wondering and stuff. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure. Mm -hmm. I'm positive on it, but you know, eh, you never know. It might be right. like. They might be a different creature altogether. It might be an alien hybrid. It could be... I don't... Because you gotta figure, you know, these people have been spotted and everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people don't live forever. Right. I'm not... I gotta... I should have looked more into the dates and everything where they've been spotted and everything. Yeah. More, a little more research. More research, but yeah. I didn't get that much research into it. Yeah. And everything. And, and what was you done? Yeah, when, and my my thoughts on that. All right, I I'll say this um, personally. I believe in portals, and um, they looking at them. You know, before we started, you showed me a picture. Yeah, um, they could they could very well easily be mistaken for what we call a gray alien, and. Um, you know, again, there's, I mean, the, the, 
the possibilities could be endless, you know. So. Oh, yeah, especially with anything with, like, cryptids and everything. Yeah. Because a lot of the cryptids are seem like they're alien-like to us mm -hmm. and everything. When you start reading some of the stories and stuff yeah. like that and everything. And, and I do believe in other dimensions also. Oh, they, yeah. they could be from another dimension. Oh, yeah, they could. Yeah. It's where, you know, picture, I know I've said this before, but picture Earth being a radio and you got, like, several channels you know you've mm -hmm. got one one radio but there's several channels you can go to mm -hmm. you know you can listen to country you can listen to metal you can listen to alternative so if you pretty much put that in a place of earth you know earth has different there i think there's different frequencies and portals and you know, I mean, me and you sitting here, well, there could be somebody over there in another dimension sitting over there, you know. You, you, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I think that's what a lot of, you know, basically ghost stuff is about, too. But go ahead. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty interesting, though. Yeah. So you ready for this next question? I know I already yep. talked about this question already. Skipping for ahead of time, but do you think a mental hospital would do experiments on the head and brain like that? <laughs> Without a G-Man, without a doubt, they would do, yeah. Now, what I'm thinking in my head or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. for example, Penhurst, there's so much cruel stuff was going on to oh, us. Oh, yeah, sad. Kids and yeah. stuff like that. So that makes it iffy if it's believable or not because they've done shock therapy and yeah. did, like, stuff with brains and everything like that. So now, see, if the melon heads was, like, a certain time limit or whatever mm -hmm. you know you got to think people will only live so long right and everything so yeah, i actually well, got more into the time limit yeah on that well time. i mean the, the body the this can these containers live so long but yeah. i think personally i know this is going off topic but i think the soul lives forever. forever yeah yeah right on brother yep i believe on that and everything it's just these are kind of weird little creatures, mm -hmm. you know, with the big heads and everything like that. Yeah. So, so do you think the melon heads is true? At the end of the day, um, you know, when you factor in the experiments and, you know, uh, long story short, I give it a yes, thumbs up. I think they are. Um, to me, I'm more of on the borderline. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest like that. Yeah. You know, there's possibility because there's sightings in Ohio, Connecticut, Michigan, and stuff like that. So, yeah. it kind of like, you know, I want to say a big, big maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, do you also, like me, do you think they could be confused for the, for the grays or is there too, see, you know more about it, or is there too, too many sightings to rule out that? possibility that they're grazed um there's some sightings and everything mm -hmm. but they always lean it towards like a mental patient yeah. because i have seen grays and i mean they're you know if i saw them again or something else i mean i know it's like me looking at you brother i mean i know that you but they said you know like you know like a lot of like stuff that i read over the years you know mm -hmm. you got like humanoids yeah like that people seen while they're up on the spaceship after an abduction. Right. So they seen like a humanoid figure that look human. Yeah. And stuff, so But yeah, I'm gonna say I'm leaning more to a believe than not to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's a good question. Small humanoids with big heads, what else could they be? Sound, you know, sounds like the gray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to say, with with all that lock share, yeah, lock shock therapy and stuff like that with the big heads and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of work on your head. If your head's swollen that bad, yeah. You know, I don't see how you'd be able to even walk or use your motor skills. Right. Yeah. You know. So you're basically saying, um, 
you know, I mean, I keep saying gray. I mean, it favors a gray, but it's basically, and this is very sad, it's basically a little kid that's being experimented on. Yeah. And his head's all swelled up. So, yeah. so that, I, you know, I, I definitely agree with that. Yeah. He, yeah. You know, either, either or. I'm, I'm not yeah. on the fence. I agree with with the kids being experimented on 100%. Yeah, but see, that's what gets me because I don't think they'd have that good of motor skills and be able to maneuver around. Right. But, yeah, you would think it would mess them up. Yeah. Yeah. But I think they're known for, like, being violent, too. Yeah. But, yeah, head trauma could cause... Oh, yeah. Violent, like somebody, you know, could change by getting struck in the head too right. hard. Well, you know, look at amnesia, you know. I mean, you're you're Brian, yeah, and you know you could take a conk on the head, and not know who you are, or you could think you was, you know, Jay or Bill. You know that that stuff yeah. kind of stuff really is bad news, especially if they're doing experiments. It's bad news. Oh yeah, especially you got to think. You know, you get them football players that get all that head trauma yeah, and everything, yeah. and well, for example, you know, I guess you could, it could make you go violent because look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that one wrestler, that Chris Benoit mm -hmm. and everything. He ended up, you know, killing his wife and his um, oh, child. Shit. Really? Yeah. Killed his wife and his child, then killed himself. Wow. I'm sure I knew that, but I just, I, you know, it's and so, been a long time ago. But. but I guess a lot of trauma to the head could make you violent, mm -hmm. so. Well, look at dementia. You know, dementia, it, yeah. It sounds, it's very similar to what you're you know you know yeah I, exactly so at home guys what do you guys think you know yeah tell us tell us leave us in the comments tell us like do you believe the mountain heads are real or you know maybe you have like a different opinion on what it could be or if you got a story yeah maybe you guys experienced the melon head maybe you know if we ran across somebody that ran across one, maybe we have more information to learn more about it and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video and stuff. We got plenty more to come on our Let's Talk. We're doing this during the winter months, trying to stay warm <laughs> <laughs> and everything during, so we do these videos and stuff and keep you guys, you know, entertained until we go do our other stuff. So, remember, guys, Keep your eyes on the sky. You never know what you guys might see. Remember to keep exploring. And guess what? Peace.